Madeline Burke here with Clippers head coach Vinny Del Negro. Vinny, first I want to ask you, basketball has obviously played a huge role in your life. How did that come to be? Well, I just, uh, growing up in Springfield, Massachusetts, I just, uh, I played all sports, but basketball was always kind of my love. So um, really couldn't, couldn't get enough of it growing up. Um, and then it just kind of, uh, you know, was inside of me to just continually play and um, high school, college, obviously in, in the pros. So just been very fortunate. I've had a lot of great coaches. I uh, had great uh, family support. Uh, my father was a very good player, uh, so he used to work with me a lot in the backyard and stuff. And then I've had a great supportive wife over the years that, uh, that has helped uh, with all the things you handle as a player, as a coach and things. So i uh, just been around the game a long time. And like I said, it's really kind of the, the memories, the people I've met throughout the years that has been real special, my teammates. And, um, you know, there's always a party that continually wants to play, but at times, you know, uh, you have to move on. Now, your dad played college basketball at Kentucky. How much did that influence you growing up? Well, I used to go to a lot of basketball camps, uh, and I used to go to University of Kentucky basketball camp, and uh, my dad used to, like I said, work with me in the backyard. And uh, But I was just always playing. I loved it. So um, my father was very instrumental in that development, and um, you know, he coached me through things and coached some of my teams and things. So um, he, he's obviously has lived... Uh, uh, his life, a lot of it through sports, especially the game of basketball. And um, that just affected me in a positive way growing up, always being around uh, athletics, but uh, really focused on basketball. Now, your dad told me a story about you when he was out here. He said that when you were growing up, you would dribble a basketball to and from school every day. Is that true? Yeah. You know, I used to uh, dribble at the school, put in my locker and, uh, you know, at recess play and things and dribble at home and dribbled around the house and uh, really just it was just uh, couldn't get enough of it and uh, and uh, played at different parks in my neighborhood and uh, would run or ride my bike or something at different parks and play and it just uh, I had really good friends growing up that loved sports and we used to play a lot of different things whether it was soccer or baseball but basketball was always uh, in the backyard or at the uh, at the playgrounds. What do you think caused that kind of dedication to that at, at such an early age? I just fell in love with it I mean it was just uh you know, I just, uh, I enjoyed it, you know, and when you find something uh, that you love and that you enjoy, it, it doesn't seem like work. It doesn't, you just, uh, it was just, uh, I was very, always have been very comfortable, uh, you know, on the court and things just because I'd, I had done it so much growing up and uh, had gone to great camps, had, you know, friends that were good players, um, a lot of, you know, like I said over the years, a lot of great teammates, but really the coaches, the mentors, the atmosphere I was in. But it really is just something that uh, I was very driven, you know, to uh, to play in and improving. And, um, you know, it just kind of it develops over the years. And I was lucky in early age, found something that I love to do. For more on the Clippers, check out Clippers.com. And for ticket information, call 866-4-CLIPPERS. Whoa.